Hello and welcome to Kittrick Farm. So we're back with another episode of Westby, Wisconsin. And yes, we are still in August, but we are going to be moving that time forward here very shortly. However, before we did, I came to realize maybe, just maybe, we should give them a little bit more food. I'm not sure this is going to get us through the night. And so we're going to go ahead and get all of this equipment set up here and make another load of TMR. It's been a minute since we did this, although it was probably just a few episodes ago. However, I uh, can't recall exactly how much of everything that's going to take. And so we're going to go ahead and do that again here right quick before we move the time forward. I'm expecting our cows to get healthy and see their productivity go up pretty quickly here as we get into things. But uh, first off, we need to get the feed going. So I'm trying to remember exactly where everything's at here. So we've got our hay and our straw up in this top bin. We're gonna go ahead and put somewhere around half in here, I think, maybe 40%. We wanna not use so much of the silage is my thought process here. So we're gonna fill with the straw, fill with the uh, grains a little bit. So we'll put about 50% of our hay in here to start with, maybe, you know, just shy of that. And then I can add a fair amount of straw here as well. So if we were at 47% and I want about 24% straw, something like that, we're gonna go right to there. And then as I add in some silage and some corn, this should all balance out. Now, I can't remember which of these we actually put our silage in. And the trigger for the harvest stores or the staves I should say is a little bit closer to the wall and so we're gonna just uh, see if we can pull up here alongside the wall and get these unloaded I'm uh, not getting anything out of that one maybe it's this closer one there we go start filling perfect and we're gonna bring uh, this silage all the way up until we get into the green and then give it a few more ticks to account for the uh, grain we're gonna put in here there we go and I'm super happy with that mixing ratio I do miss the mod from FS19 that would let me show that mixing ratio without having to have the entire menu up here but alas we'll make do with what we've got and it looks like I probably could have put a little bit more grains in here but that's all right we're gonna go heavy on the hay we've got a fair amount of straw in there which makes me happy and our silage is just above the minimum that we needed so all things considered I'll take this honestly those oats are probably a little expensive and if I recall completely unnecessary for the mixture this should almost double the amount of food that we've got in the uh feed trough here for the cows you can see that we are filling it up as we go here which is kind of cool getting a little bit of feed everywhere i do i probably should have just set a cruise control for like one mile an hour we're going to uh have to stop here and unload some more feed but as you can see it does seem to fill up in the areas where we're unloading which is kind of cool i can get the realistic uh, feed trough uh, filling mechanics there where it uh, fills as we go along. I'm gonna go ahead and just park this setup right back over here because I'm almost positive that I'm gonna wanna make another round of feed here uh, after we skip ahead to the next day. I suspect that these cows are going to eat pretty healthily overnight. The trick for me is going to be remembering to feed our cows every day and not forgetting about them. I'm not used to taking care of animals at this stage yet. I haven't done a lot of it, especially in FS22 here. This is going to be our first real life test. See if we can manage to care for these animals long enough for them to become productive we're about to find out so i don't have a sleep point set up on this map just as of yet and so we're gonna just uh take a quick look at the animal menu we're gonna see yep we're i don't know about a third of our total food here we're at 20 percent health and productivity so we'll just skip ahead and check back in once it's light out tomorrow 
All right, we have successfully moved into September here. If we pop back open into the menu, you can see we're actually making a fair amount of milk. We got a couple thousand liters already and our productivity and health maxed out here and our reproduction rate is starting to tick up here. So I'm excited to see some new cows get born soon now that uh, everybody's healthy and productive. But as you can see, we did burn through a good chunk of that food overnight here. So we are going to need to continue to keep feeding these cows. I'm beginning to wonder if we aren't gonna need a bigger feed wagon. Just taking a look at the menu here, I don't have any of these uh, feed mixers on the server. I think we're gonna end up just upgrading here. They're not overly expensive. This one's about twice as big. So that's gonna cut down on the amount of chores we have to do significantly since it looks like I would have to essentially do two rounds of feed uh, every day right now with the amount of cows we have, which seems a mite excessive. So I'm going to go ahead and sell off this particular mixing wagon feed mixer, and we'll go pick up a slightly larger one. I'll be keeping my eye out for some good mods for this. Now, normally I would run this all the way up to the shop to sell it for a little bit more, but I don't think we're gonna do that today. We're gonna hop out and just double check its maintenance here. I know uh, repairing and uh, repainting always seems to do good for the resell value. Boom, it is gone. And just like that, we put a call into the dealer and got them to deliver this much larger feed mixer here for us right out of the gate. And we're gonna go ahead and just mix up a much larger batch here and see if we can get those cows all ready to go. I wanna make sure that we uh, don't forget about it throughout the day and end up starving those cows. We wanna keep that productivity high so that we can focus on some other tasks now, given how much food they are eating, I'm starting to have a little bit of concerns that we've got enough product here to get through the winter. We're definitely going to be doing a little bit more uh, hay work here at some point because we're starting to burn through some of these resources. And so as a result, we're going to stop this at about 30% and I think I think I'm gonna try and get a 25% of straw here, maybe a little bit more, and see if we can just balance this all out. So we're gonna shoot for about 55% on the bottom right there total for straw. Maybe we'll shoot for 50. I'm getting a little nervous about how far into the red that straw bar is going right now. So if we just pull up here, we can get ourselves some silage. Now, hopefully I've got enough silage in here. I know we've been making uh, some as we go, but uh, we could run out at any point here there we go looking good i'm using a bit more silage than i'd like but we're gonna keep going until we're about 80 percent total volume here maybe i'll back up and put a little bit more uh straw and hay into this mix i do still have some room for the grain so i'll probably fill this until just after it goes red there we go we'll put a little bit more hay in here maybe up to about 92 percent and then we're gonna fill the rest of this up with the grain now we've been having some problems hitting this door today so i'm gonna try and swing a little bit wider recognizing that we've got a little bit bigger of a cart and look at that we managed to pull out without any problems here so let's hop on out here get the uh grain mixer back out here or the uh grinder i should say and i am a little nervous that we'll overfill but think we'll be okay if we can just uh zip back up here into the 4240 real quick keep an eye on that oh we're not gonna have any problems at all so we'll go ahead and just top this off with the grain right now let the uh, other materials go as long as possible Good deal. So this is a solid 24,000 liters of mixed feed. We'll get that put right on into the feed troughs here and be done with the cow feeding frenzy for the day. This was uh, hopefully getting a little bit easier than the previous run here. There we go. So with all of the feeding out of the way, we can come over here and check on the hired worker that we've got going on 
plowing up our fields that we combined over here. Last episode, we worked on uh, putting together this field 48 area. These were all a bunch of separate fields. And now that we've got them all combined together here, uh, we did need to get these plowed in so that we can maximize our yield potential here on this field. We're also going to need to come over here and hit these other fields at some point. Surprisingly, this grass area up here that we've been mowing is also set up as a field section. So we're going to need to get in here and hit all of these strips with the plow at some point as well here. But it looks like our other fields are all ready to go, including half of these uh, strips here. So... That's a little bit uh, interesting. And then if we just look field 71, we're still waiting on a little bit of time here before we're going to be able to harvest that. Soybeans aren't ready to harvest until October in our current uh, geo. So we got a little bit of waiting ahead of us. So I think the plan for today is going to be to knock out the rest of the plowing here in this field. And then we should probably be ready to bounce the clock forward here and get into the last of our harvest. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. And it ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck. you've enjoyed today's episode that's all for today Ketterk out oh, we're crashing into everything and now we're stuck again on the door oh goodness we got stuck I do miss the mod from uh, FS19 that would let me show the mixing ratio that would let me show the mixing ratio here even when we're uh oh my goodness I'm just starting this all over Ooh, this barn's got really nice lights in the uh, dark time hours here. I'm digging it.